a bank holiday weekend. So we are going all the way around to the Needle. We're going to try with some early mackerel. Maybe go off the six uh, six mile banks. My brother's late. Well, not late. He's going out about eight o'clock. It's, it's time now. Twenty past seven. There's a boat just up there. Got to be careful. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is why I own a boat. The amount of boat. No, people don't understand. Owning a boat, they only see the videos of the fun stuff. It is a ball lake owning a boat, but this is why we do it. Look at that. Now that's worth the ball lake, money, fuel, the problems, everything. 100% for me anyway. So, it's probably about, well, we're going to be punching the tide down there. So, let's get down there. It's probably going to take me an hour, but I'll bring you back when we're near the needles. I am buzzing. Yes! This is what I've been waiting for. This is what I've been waiting for. I cannot wait. One more time. I mean, I knew it was going to be nice. I didn't know it was going to be that night. Right, I'm too excited. I'll bring you back when I get down to the needles. Or if I see some mackerel working, I'll drop the feathers and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back. See you in a minute. Woohoo! I don't know if you can see that, but there's the needles. But look at this, first time this year. Loads of birds, there's a few boats over there as well. Water looks quite clear, but let's, um, they're all diving down as well. So obviously the white bait are there. Mackerel might be early, let's hope so. Let's get the new lure rod in on the go. is clear, very clear. There is loads of boats around as well. Don't know if you can see much because of the sun, but. Loads of birds, there's got to be some macro in there. I'm gonna change the lure for a weight because it's not it's not heavy enough. I don't know how much fuel I've done coming around here. Whoa, I'm too excited, I don't know what's going on. Oh, imagine some early mackerel and then we might be able to go offshore for some taupe. I suppose you can hear all the birds. Oh, I can't get this weight put on quick enough. Oh, you, they're diving down. Hopefully it's not just small bass. We're 
only in 20 foot of water though. Oh, I just seen, yeah, I just seen a fish jump. I think there might just be bass, but there's got, there's got to be a few mackerel in there somewhere. Yeah, I don't know if you can see him jumping. Let's have a go at a cast with this new rod. You can hear him, if I shut up. Fish on. Please be some mackerel. First fish on the new rod. Loads of them about. Hopefully, you can see that because of the sun. But there might just be loads of little bass, but it's got to be a few mackerel in there, surely. Let's get him back. Let's get them down again. They're jumping everywhere. I was hoping, like I said, I hope it's just not small bass. So clear. Yeah, it's weird. What are we in? Twenty foot of water. You can see all the fish on the uh, on the sounder. This is a good sign though, seeing these birds and how clear the water is, it's a good sign. All the birds are moving now, there's a few there as you can see. There is loads up there though. Yeah, let's move up there. You can see all them birds, but there is loads. Such a good sign this time of year. Oh, well, I only had that one bass around the, around the other side of the needles. I think it was just covered with, um, smothered with little bass. But yeah, so now we are around the needles. It's a lot flatter in the Solon because it's a southerly, southern, southeasterly wind, I think. It is a lot flatter in the Solon, but we're here. So the plan is just try and get some mackerel. There's a few boats. There's quite a few boats around trying for something to get what they look like. They look like they're trying for mackerel. To try for some mackerel, if no luck, then um, we'll drop the anchor somewhere and get some baits down. But yeah. Try and get some fresh bait. Got loads anyway, but just want to see if the mackerel are around early. Uh, and safety first. I didn't. Um, I didn't put one on the last couple of videos. I completely forgot it was in the cabin. But but yeah, this is a must, especially coming this far away and on my own. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm just gonna try for some mackerel. 
then drop the yoke down and see. I was going to go quite far out, you know, the six mile bank or something like that. But we'll see, we'll see how we go. I might just drop it around here somewhere and, and uh, see how it goes. And I've got quite a few lures here I could try as well because the water is so clear. I've got a whole bucket of lures and I've got some little lures. A really bad hook though, it's rusty, but these ones are like brand new. So, yeah, just a little play around really. And uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how we get on. These mackerel are few and far between. Well, non existent at the moment. I don't know if you can see in the distance there. All them birds, you can probably hear them as well. boats around like I said. Oh there's a big cat there. What's it called? White horses. And an ass a boat. Now that is a boat. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I prefer this little thing to be honest. I've just come about three miles off the needles, no mackerel. I was trying for about, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. There was quite a few boats there, I didn't see anyone else catch any. So we've come to like three miles off, off the needles. I'm in 100 foot of water. I've just got two rods down, I've got a um, mackerel head on this left one and just a double squid on that one. I haven't got a scratching rig down there yet. But uh, yeah, really good tide at the moment and it looks like we're holding bottom. There is a lot of tide at the moment, so. Uh, yeah, I'm quite a bite then, so that's good. So we're gonna stay here probably, obviously depending on the fishing, we might move around. My brother's still not around the back. Uh, we haven't even got to the needles yet. I'm well past that. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave it here for a few hours, see how we get on. And hopefully we get some fish. There might even be, I've seen some taupe being caught as well with that. Got a bite on that one straight away. It's been down there about five minutes. Um, oh, I've got a bite, yeah. Uh, there might be some taupe. There might be some taupe down there. If there is, then I've got some uh, wire trace rigs. To get a nice big type for you. Only problem is with it being 100 foot, you've got to reel up a long way just for a dogfish, so hopefully there's none about. Which, obviously, there's going to be. Right, yeah, well, let's see what happens. First fish of the day. My favourite. Look at that. Perfect slab of uh, mackerel. Perfect for a dogfish. I'm going to change the lead because uh, I'm struggling to hold bottom with. Um, this weight. I don't know if it's wobbly angle it, but drag set.
there was quite a few boats over over the needle. I think they've all they've all gone offshore. Now, I see I can see two in the far distance. I think I can see France actually. You know, I think there's Bournemouth over there. I don't know if you've ever seen that on the video, but yeah, a lovely clear day. Let's um. Hope you get, I mean, I ain't even got a uh, target species today. Hopefully, just some rays. You know, a mixed bag, really. Only give it a shot, can't we? Especially in the weather's like this. I'll tell you what, with this lead and the tide. Nightmare lifting up a dogfish. You are joking. I might have to move spots. You wait till you see this. Two dogfish on one trace. You have got to be having me on. What's this? Dogfish spot or what? Are you sure? Oh my god. Two dogfish on. I'll give it another hour or something. If one of them catches this dogfish, I'm going to move around somewhere because that's just mental. That. Right, well, let's get it back down then. Well, after that double whammy of dogfish, literally the, the rod's not even in the water. I've just had a, I think it's a better bite on this rod. I know I shouldn't, but I just double look up on a dogfish and then I've had five dogfish, I've only been here about half an hour. I might uh, lift up the anchor and move somewhere else. Um, I, I know I've only given it a little bit, but you know when it, when, when you know, you know, if it's a dogfish, a dogfish rally or something. Yeah, I'm going to lift up the anchor and move somewhere else. A bit rough out there, so I've come in, look. Sometimes that lands on the, uh, well it might be. Yeah, so. That was a bit mental lifting up that anchor. Um, oh look, there's the needles. Um, I've come inside to Allen Bay. Completely different day in there. We're in 37 foot of water. Yeah, just round that corner because you won't. I don't know if you better see it in the in the video, but it's lumpy out there, and I 
it obviously every time you go around that corner it, it it does kick up a bit and then the further you get round it normally flattens out. What is that helicopter doing? It's the uh ambulance helicopter. It looks like it's coming down and picking Um yeah, so uh, the, the further you get round, always on that pinnacle there, it always churns up because it's quite shallow there and obviously it, it, it meets but normally the further you get round it normally flattens out but it didn't and when I lifted up the anchor on my own it's just I don't know something I've got, I've got this though but something again like in my last video something just doesn't feel right it didn't feel right it felt a bit sketchy and especially on my own I thought nah let's go and try and find somewhere where you can tuck in a little bit and um, try and still get some decent fish. I'm intrigued to know what that helicopter's up to. It's, it's just hovering on, on top of a boat. I don't know if it, I don't know if he, I don't know if a boat is in trouble. But yeah, oh yeah, I've never fished around here in this bit. I don't know where my brother is. He said he was coming. I mean. He was get, like leaving the moor in at eight o'clock, but but yeah. I'll tell you what I might do. I might motor over to that helicopter because it looks like it's doing something, and see if we can show you. Don't know if you can see it on the video, but I don't know what he's doing up there. Anyway, yes, more back to the fishing. So, 23 foot here. I didn't really want to go that shallow, to be honest, but I just wanted to go see what he was doing. So, let's... Try and find some decent contour on the bottom, and uh, we'll uh, drop the anchor and see what we can get. It's a lovely day. Just around that corner, it's a bit lumpy. All right, we're back. Anchor's down, 42 foot of water. It's a different day in here. Got all the rods down. I've got a set of feathers just hanging over the side there, just in case any elusive mackerel rub out. Scratching rig, you know, the circle hook rigs that I made. That's on the left rod. And I've got two squid baits on the back rods. I don't know what it's going to be like in here because um, yeah, I've, no, I've never, I've never fished here. But if we can give it a go for a couple of hours, I can have some food here. It's nice and calm here. It's half eleven. It might, it might calm down around that corner, around the back of the island, and I might be able to get back round there. Dan has just gone round there in his arbor just to see what it's like. Um, it might be alright in his boat, but for me, something just didn't feel right. So I'll come in here and um, yeah, we'll give it a couple of hours here. Like I said, never fished here before, so I don't know what it's going to be like. The bottom seems quite flat. I don't really, I don't know, I prefer a little bit, you know, contour or some, you know, something like rocky or whatever, but we'll see. See what happens. I'm gonna have some food and I'm gonna make a cup of tea. I've got the drone with me. I don't know where it... I've got the drone. It's a bit windy. I've never flown it off the boat before, but I do want to get some good aerial pictures of the boat and stuff. So we'll see. Dan was gonna do that for me, but yeah, he's never flown one on the uh, on a boat as well. I'm sure the first time I, the first time I do it, it's going to be hairy, but you know, the, the, the same as anything. The more you do it, the better you get. So. Right. So the rods are down. I'm going to have some food. Hopefully, if we get a fish here, I'll bring you back. If not, we'll give it an hour, hour or two here, and then we'll try and find somewhere else, somewhere where it's a bit more. Look, I'll show you. So look, that's the bottom. Completely flat. I mean, I have caught fish. I have caught fish like that before. I, I don't know, I just prefer uneven ground features, if you like. The water temperature is 11.9, so, you know, the birds are everywhere. So, 
it's getting close the mackerel are probably around a little bit a few and far between i've heard that there's been one caught in a kayak off sand down but there was about 15 16 boats out there this morning um with, and you know i don't know if they got any but i haven't yet so yeah i'm gonna have some have some food make a cup of tea make a coffee or something hopefully we get a bite here but if not we'll move actually look my brother he um he's he, i don't think he believed me that it was quite hairy around the back so i said go have a look go check it out for yourself and i think i can see him in the distance coming back so even if the arva can't handle it this little beast can't right yep so let's go get the kettle on shall we well i was just about to put the kettle on i just had a bite this is the scratching rig here just spoke to another boat he just come up beside me he's been trying for mackerel he hasn't had any so doesn't look like there's many about Seemed a bit snagged there. Alright, still got all of our bait. Bam, 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 bam. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Southern Coast Guard, Southern Coast Guard, Southern Coast Guard. Simples, information number one. Begins pam pam. Simples had run aground on the shingles. Cancel pam pam. I say again, cancel pam pam. Ooh. The vessel has freed themselves and require no further assistance. Sterling Coast Guard coordinating. Date time group 041045 UTC. This is Sterling Coast Guard. Someone's run aground on the uh, brambles. Someone's want to run aground on the Brambles Bank. But it said it does, they don't need assistance anymore, so they've been pulled off, so... So they're all good. I just had a, I just had a bite on this scratching rig. And guess what it is? Got to be about Oh that looks more like a ball ass actually. But it's a dogfish. Must be about 13 dogfish today. Can't get away from them. I don't mind cat I do mind catching, but I don't mind if you catch another fish, you know? Just made a coffee, chuck this down, finish the coffee, have a couple of biscuits or whatever, and we'll go down to Totland and see what my brother's doing. My brother's name's Dan, by the way. I don't know why I keep saying brother. If I say Dan, it's my brother. Well, I've had my lunch, I've had a coffee, spoke to Dan. And he's gone down Totland, so he said he's had some good rays down there. I don't know if I've already said that, but I'm going to wrap this up, reel these in, lift up the anchor and get down Totland and hopefully stay there for a few hours. Here goes the radio, look. Uh, stay there for a few... Oh. stay there for a few hours and try and get some decent fish for you and for me no right that is not coming of anything so I'm gonna reel these in lift up the anchor and get down to Totland last chance Say goodbye to the needles for today. Shame I know, but didn't forecast this strong winds. Well they did, no they didn't, they actually didn't. Let's get down Tottenham. Oh. Right. 
destination number three, Totland. It's not ideal, it's a lot windier than uh, what they said it was going to be, so the wind is pushing us a different way to the top. Pushing us a little bit different way than what the tide wants to, so I'm fishing just straight down at the moment, not down tiding again, because I got snagged a minute ago. I'll show you where Dan is. I don't know if you can see him. He's over there. Needles, just there. There's another boat behind me just here. So, hopefully there's a couple of fish here. Or a few, or something. It's got to be something, you know. All this effort, we've got to have at least one decent fish, haven't we? I'm not, you know, I'm trying to bump it on the bottom because when the uh, boat's swinging, as you probably know, when the boat's swinging, it'll, uh, if you're on the bottom, it'll just get snagged. It'll just pull it into a snag, so. Yes. Staying here. It's 20 to 1 now, bloody hell. We're up at 5 o'clock this morning. Just been a bit bitty this fishing trip at the moment, so let's stay here, let's stay put for a bit. Keep the baits going in, <coughs> excuse me, keep the baits going in, and then um, hopefully we'll get a fish. And when I do, I'll bring you back. Oh, finally, it's probably been about an hour where we've been swinging around on the side at slack water. We've literally just, the tide's just turned, I don't know if you can see that. But it's probably another dogfish, but now we're down tide and starting to get bites again. I've had about four dogfish from here, probably about 20 overall. That's all I've caught today yet. But hopefully now the tide's turned, we've got a bit of tide coming off the back of the boat. Hopefully we can get some get some different fish. But yeah, that looked like a dogfish all over. Literally all I've caught all day. Oh. Can't help what you catch, can you? Let's get it back down and hope you get something else. Well, it has just been constant dogfish. I've had well over 30. I had a small eel, wasn't even worth turning the camera on for. I've cut my finger. It's not too bad. The cut, it's literally just a nip. How many dogfish? Can you get? These things today have been a pain, like always. That's why you should always cut away when you're filling a mackerel, cut away from you. Obviously, I know that, but I didn't do it. Been a bit of a bitty shit, uh, a bitty session today. Constant, honestly, dogfish after dogfish, one eel, dogfish, a small eel. Dan's just in front of me, he's just had constant dogfish. Using the bait, but for the wrong fish. What's the time? Three o'clock, tide's really picked up now. It's a decent, decent tide coming off the back of the boat, so I thought it'd be bringing, you know, some different fish, but. But we're still here. We're still trying, trying to get just anything other than a dogfish or an eel. Well. I've tried, I feel like I fished really hard for a decent fish. I didn't end up getting one. Countless amount of dogfish, a couple of eels, 
there was no point even turning the camera on for the eels because I thought it was a dogfish and then it was a boot lace so yeah it's uh, 20 past 3 I'm about an hour and a half away from uh, from my mooring so I'm gonna have to call it a day I'm afraid but yeah I thought it was going to be around the back, I thought it was going to be passing needles, you know, like I went out there three miles out, I thought it was going to go further, but the uh, water condition and the wind direction didn't help the fact today. So it was a little bit more lumpy out there than I expected, so we called it a quits, went to Allen Bay just for some lunch because it was tight, like nice and tidy around there. Only had a couple of dogfish down there. Went to come to here, just to Tottenham, 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 literally right in front of Tottenham Pier, quite far out. And it was just constant dogfish and eels. So, unfortunately, not the day that we wanted, but it was a good day. Good day out, up early, home, probably about five o'clock. See if I can get out on Monday or something, because it's a bank holiday, obviously. See if we can get out again and try and get something a little bit better. But, as always, thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like, you know, like this video, leave a comment, please subscribe. It's gonna be countless amount of videos, hopefully one or two a week, like I said in my other videos. With weather permitted, I mean, even if I can get in the Solon, just for a few hours midweek, because they say next week's gonna be nice as well, so. Fingers crossed, I might go down salt mead for that, you know, for them bream. Who knows? I will be getting out a couple of times next week and we'll do a couple more videos for next week, but maybe Bank Holiday Monday as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.